Hi, and welcome back to CloudNet, where networks meet cloud. Today, we're going to talk about cloud native or multi-service infrastructure. And for that, we brought our cloud native or multi-service infrastructure expert. That's me. Ran. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you. Okay, so what, what's multi-service? We keep talking about it, but let's understand what it is. The long answer is that just like in cloud, multi-service is a system in which you run multiple services or multiple network functions over the same shared virtualized infrastructure and with that you can achieve hyperscale economics and a lot of efficiency and cost performance benefits. Ron, what's the short answer? I'll break it down into three pieces. First off, it's multi-service, right? The, the numerity of the services. Second is the infrastructure or the architecture uh, underneath, the microservice architecture. And third is the resource sharing, which is as a result of it. So I'll explain each and every one of them as a standalone. Multi-service is the ability to run a different service on top of an existing infrastructure. So you don't have to have a dedicated hardware to run each and every one of, the, of, the, of your uh, uh, services in the network. Second is the microservice architecture. Um, this is how we built it. I mean, in order to have multiple services, which is something that hyperscalers are doing all the time, you need to have an efficient infrastructure that supports this. So one service will not be interrupted and will go independently without interrupting other services which exist on the same infrastructure. This is what the microservice architecture grants us. And we put those in containers uh, in order to separate between the different models. Exactly, exactly. In order to operate them in a simple manner, we containerize each and every one of these and we are enabling to launch each and every such containerized service in a simple manner. The outcome of this is better resource sharing. Um, you have multiple resources which are network oriented in your infrastructure. In order to best utilize all of these, you have different services that utilize different resources in a different way in a different time. You want to have a mechanism that enables each and every service the required resources when it's needed, where it's needed. This is the outcome of, of microservice architecture and multi-service as we are implementing it. So practically when you put very different services on top of the same infrastructure each utilizes different parts and different resources and therefore you get very good utilization of this infrastructure which exactly is exactly because the services have variance between them if you use uh, a dedicated box to run each and every one service then there is a lot of wasted resources in it okay now we understand what is cloud native and multi-service architecture Remember, you need to remember only three things. One is the multi-service itself, running multiple services over an infrastructure. The second is the microservice architecture, the fact that you run those in silos, in containers, separated from each other. And the third is the outcome, the resource sharing, the great resource utilization you get when you run cloud-native multi-service applications. Exactly. Now we know, thank you very much, Ron, for explaining, and thank you for watching and understanding.